Dude, quick! Which Cardinal player do I look like? This should be good. I have absolutely no clue. Oh, come on! Look closer! Which Cardinal player do I resemble? Hmm. I was gonna go with Denny Reyes, but he's been long gone for a while now, so I give up. Albert Pujols! Notice the clean-cut shave? Dude, there's no way in hell you resemble the man. Well, not only do I have a shave and haircut, I stand there when I hit home runs, and I don't run out ground balls. I'll agree with you on the second part. That's the first. I don't think I've ever seen you hit a ball, much less a homer. Hold on. Staring at home run shots, not grounding out ground balls. Wait a minute. You've been listening to Kevin Slayton again, haven't you? Cards take two out of three from the Astros at Minute Bay Park. On Tuesday night, they win 7-4. to four. To start things off, Viva Fat Elvis! It's the second homecoming for Fat Elvis. He homers to right field in the first. It's a two-run shot, and we're up 2 nothing. Carlos Slee matched that in the bottom of the inning, and we're tied. You know how our starters have been given little run support on most nights? Well, I guess Jake Westbrook got a little sick of it. And after the Strohs intentionally walked Daniel Descalzo to load the bases, he gets an RBI double in the fourth to clear him. And from there, there was no looking back. Even though the Astros got a run after Matt Downs was hit by a Jason Mott fastball with the bases loaded in sixth inning. Like I said, didn't matter. Which brings us to the Mang. Since I'm not allowed to show actual highlights, I'll give a little visual. Take a train to Albert Pujols goes yard, a solo shot in the eighth off the Choo Choo Train. Kind of similar to 2005, when he did the same in the NLCS and ruining Brad Lidge in the process. And finally, Ryan Terrio gets an RBI double in the ninth, extending his hitting streak to 20. Meanwhile, Fernando Salas pitches two innings, gives up a couple doubles in the ninth, allowing a run, but he strikes out Jason Bourgeois to get his 11th save of the year. Wednesday night, it wasn't pretty at all, as they lose 4-1. It wasn't a bad night for Cardinal starter Jaime Garcia. He only gave up three runs on seven hits through five innings. Hey, it's way better than he did a couple weeks ago in Colorado. Anyhow, he gives up an RBI triple to Hunter Pence, scoring Jeff Kepinger, then scores on a Carlos Lee ground out in the third. Then, Jason Michaels gets an RBI hit in the fifth, scoring Bourgeois. Only problem? Absolutely zero run support for Jaime. A big part of that, which I left out, Bud Norris is pitching, and for whatever reason, we make him look like Cy Young when he faces us. And even though he stroke out two and walked five through eight innings, this game would be no different. Of course, it didn't help that three of those walks ended up getting wiped out with double plays. Then there's the part where he had a no-hitter through six and two-thirds innings, getting no hit by Norris. That would be the ultimate embarrassment, but... Viva Elvis! Lance Berkman homers in the seventh. A solo shot. No hitter? Gone. Shutout. Gone. And that's Fat Elvis' 14th of the year. But they get another run in the eighth for good measure on an RBI hit from Michael Bourne, scoring J.R. Tolls. And Albert Pujols gets a double for the second hit of the ninth, but sadly, that would be it. With that two-hitter, Ryan Terrio goes 0 for 2, walking twice. And that's the end of his hitting streak at 20 games. It would be a much better night on Thursday, as they come back to win the finale 9-2. The big story, Lance Lynn, in only his second Major League start, gets his first win ever, going five innings, giving up a run on six hits, striking out three. And how did the Cars reward him? They send him right back to AAA and call up Mitchell Boggs. The other big story, a five-run sixth. Berkman gets an RBI hit, Mark Hamilton an RBI ground up, Tyler Green walks in a run, and Daniel Descalzo doubles in a pair. Ryan Terrio starts another hitting streak, doubling in the first, then hitting his first home run in the eighth 
to make it an 8 to 2 game. Then, in the ninth. Viva! Viva! Berkman homered to make it 9 to 2. What makes this so significant? Number one, Berkman has five home runs this year at Minute Maid Park. That's more than any current Astros player on their roster. Number two, he becomes the first player to ever homer in five straight games in the history of that park. And that's amazing, since we all know how much of a launching pad that place is. Hey, it didn't get the nickname 10 run field for nothing. That brings them to 38 and 26, two and a half games up on Milwaukee. Coincidentally, that's where we're going next. It's the Brewers for three games. Should be a huge series for both teams. As for my question of the day, how do you think the Cardinals did in this year's draft? As you know, that took place earlier this week, and I thought about doing a recap vlog. But unlike the NBA draft with two rounds, the NFL and NHL's drafts that have seven, while the top picks in each of those sports go straight to the pros, making an immediate impact, baseball's draft is a little bit different. It goes 50 rounds with a couple extra supplemental rounds, and it's very rare for anyone who gets drafted to make it straight to the major leagues. It normally takes anywhere from three to seven years to see any return from those who were drafted. And another interesting fact, unlike the other three pro sports, Major League Baseball's draft is only for American-born players. Amongst the cards picks were a second baseman from Hawaii named Colton Wong, who's fundamentally sound with a decent bat. He was their first overall pick, taken 22nd overall. As we go further down into the draft, you find Brett Graves. He's a right-handed pitcher who coincidentally went to my high school, Francis Hell. He goes in the 26th round with the 800th pick. And Colby Rasmus's little brother, Jordan, a catcher from Liberty University, was taken in the 36th round with the 1100th overall pick. What are your thoughts about the draft? Let me know. Submit your answers, comments, questions, responses, or anything else in the comment box below. Subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to check out i70baseball.com. My show's on there, plus some interesting blogs from other writers about the Cardinals and, for what it's worth, the Kansas City Royals. Cards are in Milwaukee this weekend. If you go, try to stay away from the bad beer they got up there. Have a great weekend, and go Cards!